So far, we've successfully coded writing face label pairs to the training set and then reading them and navigating through them. So now it's time to update our face label pair in the training set. So for that, we go to the click event of our update button, which updates any change to a face name or uh, that is the label in the training set for the particular face we're viewing. And the code is rather simple. We simply first um, are going to, you know, for uh, results sake, we are going to demonstrate at which row we are reading a face label pair and then we are going to uh, assign the text whatever edited uh, text we edited in our text box to uh, the particular face name column face name field of our face label pair in the database then we're going to update the data adapter and finally a message box there to show that we are successful in whatever we're trying to do okay so let's debug and as you know that we had our navigation buttons this is to view the first face and then we have the other buttons so let's just change this name to just remove the normal from the label and update okay so yes face successfully updated and as a check you can see that when we navigate the name has indeed been changed so let's just set it back and this again confirms that the updation was successful to our training sets to our MS Access database table. Okay, so now that we've done that, it is time to be able to delete a face label pair we want to uh, remove from our training set from our MS Access database table because it often hap it often happens we want to delete some things that you know added by mistake or are of no use to us anymore. Okay, so we go to our. Um, so we go to the click event of our delete phase and we are going to simply put a check that if there are still records in the training set, we want to be able to delete the particular row at the index row number and then we're going to update the database by calling the data adapter.update TS table. And then we're going to, for safety, just preview, uh, load up the phase label pair that was one step before it and load it on our form. So let's just go and try it out. So I've debugged it and I'm going to browse for a new image and add it so that we know that the deletion is working perfectly. I'm just going to add it a new face for safety reason to the training set and navigating as you can see. There we are. This is the face we just added. So let's just delete it and it's gone see and the previous face label pair has shown instead in place of it so that's the code we just did now that we can read and write data both so why not go to back to our add to training set button and go to our add to faces function that we made ourselves and to it uh, in the finally block we are simply going to add the code that reads the most recently added face label pair to the training set uh, we're going to read it and we're going to show it in the training set viewer so that we know that because last time if you remember the image that we added the face label pair we added did not show up in the training set viewer but now this time it will so here's an example we go to debug we browse for an image and we again label the name and this time we're adding it and not only has it been added it is now viewable in our training set viewer or updater okay now before we're done with our training set editor remember when we start up uh, our application nothing shows in our training set viewer or updater even though we've added some values by now now all i want is that when i load my application it should show the first training set um the first face level pair from the training set onto my form so i'm going to go to the load event uh, of the training set editor form and right after I have connected to the database, I'm going to add an, a few lines of code, uh, which are going to be first set the row number to the first label pair and then read the image, the face image and the face label and show it on a training set viewer group box so that I know exactly when I load up my uh, application whether I have some values uh, in my training set or not.
and there we are we have as we know that we've added some values they are now popping up and I'm able to navigate before uh, you know adding any other faces to the training set and the word functioning is perfect so far we've been able to do everything we wanted we are able to add new faces to the date training set we're able to delete faces we're able to update faces and navigate through them and view them on our form and this concludes our training set editor implementing the training set editor and what's coming up next is the face recognizer finally after having done all this hard work we are finally moving to the last episode of the face recognition tutorial series so check out the tutorial link for codes and start implementing adding your faces to the training set and stay tuned for the grand finale